Tonight, the Prime Minister and Governor-General have opened a lasting tribute to Victoria Cross winners. The Hall of Valour tells the stories of nearly 100 reluctant heroes. The War Memorial is home to the new gallery, which also houses most of the VC medals handed out to our bravest soldiers. In 111 years, 98 Australian soldiers have been bestowed the country's highest military honour. Only three of those remain to share their stories. When you think of all the crud that's coming your way after, yes, I have a bloody hell did I get out of that lot. The nation calls them heroes and some afford them pop star status. You know, up until this point, you know, people don't even know I'm in the army. And then I'm seeing people on the street, they want to shake your hand and it's not me. They, they want to say, hey, you're doing a great job, your unit's doing a great job, your, the army is doing a great job. But these Victoria Cross recipients say the glory is misplaced, coming just two days after Australia's latest war casualty. It strengthens my resolve to want to finish the fight in Afghanistan um, because of blokes like him. And there's a hero for you, mate. The War Memorial has spent $4.5 million to better tell the stories of Australia's VC winners and show off most of their medals. Vital leadership in times of mortal danger, rescuing comrades at risk of one's own life, standing fast against overwhelming odds. From the first Australian recipient, Neville House, to the two diggers from the Afghan conflict. These two young blokes have carried out the acts of bravery that they did and it puts uh, the, the campaign, if you like, a step higher uh, in people's mind than what it was before. To be up on the same walls as people like Ben and Keith and Ted Kenner and, and all the way back through to our uh, house, it's just, uh, it's unbelievable. Symbolically, the new gallery sits directly beneath the tomb of the unknown soldier in the very heart of the Australian War Memorial. Craig Allen, ABC News, Canberra.